So in answer to your question, why do some styles disappear in a document written using Microsoft Word? Well, Ron given a pretty good answer down here. He's absolutely right. It all depends on the template, okay? Now, I've got Microsoft Word open at the moment, and here's one of my documents. Now, if we look on the Home ribbon into the Style Gallery, and I click on the drop-down arrow at the end there, I can see that I've got quite a few styles in here, 26, 27 styles, okay? Whereas when I come across to Word, and I, I'll close this document down, I'll create a new document. Just close the nav pane and the styles uh, pane. If I click on the drop down arrow to see the styles in this particular template, we can, we can see that I've only got a few styles, okay? So where are all the rest of these? Well, some of these are built in styles, which your Word has by default and others are styles that I've actually created myself. They're custom styles as opposed to built-in styles, okay? But what you can do with every single style in Word is you can choose to add it to the style gallery or if it's already in the style gallery, you can right click and you can select remove from style gallery. And what you're doing here or what I imagine that you mean by disappear is that they're no longer in the style gallery. And that's what's actually happened. So if I come back to my new document, which is based on Word's normal .docm template, which is the essential template to Microsoft Word, this is what it's going to show me by default. It's not showing me heading three, heading four, heading five, or I've got the four headings in this document. Okay. And the reason it's not showing me is because based on this template, the settings are to not show those headings until they're used. And what I mean by don't show them till they're used is if I click on heading one, if heading two wasn't visible on the ribbon, heading two would now show. So if I click on heading one, heading two would show here. Now when I click on heading two, look what happens between heading two and title. So as soon as I click on heading two, heading three will appear because the setting in the template is to hide until used. So Word now thinks, well, he's used heading two. I think he needs to use heading three, so I'll show it. And that's what it's doing here. If I click on heading three, heading four will appear because that's the setting. So if something, if a style has disappeared, I think you just mean that it's, why isn't it showing in the style gallery, okay? And the reason for this is, let me show you now. If I click on the style, um, style um, diagonal arrow here opens up the style pane and here I can see the styles in my document and as you can see I've got a pretty small list of styles certainly a lot less than I've got over here that's for sure and the reason for that is is because the way the template is actually set up now as I said earlier every single style can be added or removed from the ribbon now all these styles here are all in this ribbon okay so if I want to remove heading 4 from the ribbon well, I, I can't do it from, sorry, I, sorry, yes, I can. I can do it from here, remove from the style gallery, okay? But what I cannot do here is I cannot delete heading four from the document because it's a built-in style. All these styles here are built in. I can't delete any of them. Word won't let me. However, if I go back to my other document, and let's say here, bullet L5, this is one that I created myself. I can revert to bullet L4. Now, if I select bullet L, revert to bullet L4, L4 stands for level four. Now I get the option to delete it because it's a custom built style, okay? And that's the difference between a built in style and a custom built style. So over here, I can remove it from the style gallery, which I am going to do, remove heading three, and as you can see, it's disappeared from the style gallery. I'll do the same with heading four. Sorry, yeah removed from the style gallery. As soon as I've removed them from the style gallery, I can now add them back if I want, but I'm not going to bother. Um, but the actual original template settings, while they didn't show up initially, to have access to them, we need to click on the Manage Styles button down here. And then I click on Manage Styles and you can go to Edit, Recommend, Restrict, Set Defaults. You click on Recommend and then you can sort the order. Okay, and you can sort of sort them alphabetically as recommended by font, based on, by type, etc. And the easiest one for me is always alphabetically because I know I'm looking for heading three, heading four. So now I can scroll down. And as you can see here, we've got quite a few styles. 
And these are all the built-in ones. And, and a lot of them, as you saw as I scrolled through, are hide until used. And that's what Word's doing with these heading styles. It's hiding them until we want them. Okay? Now the chances are the, the style that you're looking for probably isn't hide until used. If it is, all you need to do is click on show. So if I click on show, it's going to show heading four. But the thing is, it's not going to show heading four in your style gallery. It will show it here in your styles pane. Then you have to add it from the styles pane into the gallery. Let me show you with heading five. Heading five is hide until used. It doesn't appear in the pane. If I click on show and click on OK, heading five now appears. Then what I do is I left click. Oh, there you go. It's automatically appeared in the styles, in the styles gallery. There you go. I was slightly incorrect there, but that's, that's basically how you do it. Okay. So you need to click on manage styles. You find the style that you're looking for. And I will click on heading four to show, heading three to show, heading two to show. Click on OK. But those ones, because I've removed them from the style gallery, aren't added back in automatically. And to do that and to add them back, I just do that. Okay. So that's how you solve it.